prophet Ezekiel was taken away from his land to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. So he was carried away with the king and with many people. Perhaps it's a very sad thing for him, but the Lord placed him in Babylon so that he might bring the words of the Lord to the people. And by doing this, Ezekiel could help them and could bring the peace of the Lord. And later, Ezekiel also taken in his vision uh, to the land of Israel, to the temple of Jerusalem. Then he brought me back to the door of the temple, and there was water flowing from under the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the front of the temple faced the east. The water was flowing from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gateway that faces east. And there was water running out of the right side. And when the man went out to the east with a line in his hand, he measured 1,000 cubits, and he brought me through the waters. The water came up to my ankles. Again, he measured 1,000 and brought me through the waters. The water came up to my knees. Again, he measured 1,000 and brought me through. The water came up to, the, to my waist. Again, he measured 1,000, and it was a river that I could not cross. For the water was too deep, water in which one must swim, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he brought me and returned me to the bank of the river. When I returned there along the bank of the river were very many trees on one side and on the other. Then he said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region, goes down into the valley, and enters the sea. When it reaches the sea, its waters are healed. Amen. So prophet Ezekiel, uh, taken away in his vision, he could visit Jerusalem in the land of Israel. But when he visited, the temple and the city were destroyed already by King Nebuchadnezzar. But he could see the original building, and after that, the Lord sent an angel, a man, so he guided Ezekiel in this special trip. And the man measured everything in the temple and checked everything. But everything was in accordance with the description, with the description when Solomon built the temple. Then the man, the angel of the Lord, was holding something. Obviously, that's why he could measure everything, which was... He was holding measuring rod. And at that time, the metric system usually used like a cubit, and cubit was from your elbow and to the tip of your finger. So when you consider this ruler, it's like a double size of my cubit. So these are, this is two cubits. So the man and the angel of the Lord, he measured every time, and he guided, he led Ezekiel through the waters. First time he measured 1,000 cubits, so like a 500 times of this length. Then the water came out from the threshold of the sanctuary, and the water reached the anchors of Ezekiel, the prophet, and the angel and the man measured again another 1,000 cubits. 
then water gets deeper. It reached uh, the prophet's waist. So after this, uh, the angel measured one more time, 1,000 cubits. Then finally, water gets so deep, and no one cross on dry land. And everybody has to swim because water was very deep and a lot of water was flowing that became a river. And we may wonder why water is flowing from the sanctuary. Think about what you can hear right now, what's flowing, what's coming out of our speakers there and our microphone. We just read the word of the Lord. So the truth and teachings of the word was flowing out of the sanctuary, and that looked like water. And the prophet was guided by an angel, and angel measured every time before leading him. And when he measured the first time, the water was about ankle high. It wasn't that deep and high. And next time, the water reached the waistline, and after that, water was very deep and everyone has to swim. And very interestingly, water gets deeper after measurement. In other words, after measuring the cubits, the length, the Lord gave more waters. Why measuring is so important in receiving more truth, more water from the Lord? Have you been to amusement parks, like Canada's Wonderland? To enjoy rides, what's the procedure? You need to be qualified to enjoy those rides. Your height should be over a meter, and your weight should be certain kilograms. So after measuring our weight and height by ourselves, by parents, uh, we can allow them to enjoy those rides. So when the Lord wants to give us more truth, more teachings, the Lord may measure whether we can receive them, whether we can be worthy of learning those new truths. So if we are qualified after measuring with the Lord's measurement stick, we are allowed to receive more truth. And we know that after the water gets so deep, the water was flowing, and water made everything enlivened. In other words, that water gave a lot of life and healing to everything nearby. So this is what we can get from the Lord when we have much water. In other words, when we have the Lord's truth in us, it can make us very strong and very lively, and also that can fix many problems we have. So the Lord showed this beautiful vision to uh, Prophet Ezekiel so that we can learn, hopefully we can have the same kind of truth, to be guided by the Lord, to be blessed by the Lord. Amen.